In this tutorial, we're going to begin working on our website. Now, the very first thing always in Dreamweaver is to make sure that you create a website definition, because if you don't make a website definition, you could uh, mess up your website. So let's make sure that we go to Manage Sites. We're going to create a new site, and this will be, um, you can name it whatever you like. I like to go to the uh, Advanced tab because it's a little bit easier. Just Local Info that category has um, exactly what I need. So we need to have a site name just so we can refer to it. This will be DuPont website. And um, I need to point it to the right folder. And this is the only folder that you have to point it to, the local root folder. So I'm going to click on the folder name, go to my desktop under video tutorials, and go to DuPont website because that's the folder which is the de the default folder or root folder for this website. Now I'm using um, a student's project um, as an example because uh, it has exactly what we talked about you know during the um, previous uh, tutorials. Anyway click OK and done and you should now see um, all the files that you have in that website. And you can double click on a file and if you go to, to uh, your design view you should be able to see exactly how that page looks. And this is a great starting point for what we're going to be doing. Now, it's very important that we clean up the website before we go on. So I'm going to close that page, and let's do make sure that we have everything correct before we go on. Now, it's very, very important that you do this in Dreamweaver, because Dreamweaver will fix our code. One of the main things is to make sure that we don't have any extra files. I know this stylesheet 1.css is not being used, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and that's good. It wasn't linked to anything, otherwise it would have come up with a warning. Now, this Photos page is has an uppercase P, and we want to make sure that everything is in lowercase always on websites. So I'm going to change that to a lowercase P and hit Enter. Now you'll see that it comes up with this that says Update the Files, and of course we want to update it because we want it to fix the code for us. We can also do that with Trails and it will say update and everything will be in lowercase. Now images is the name of our folder and we want to make sure that that's in lowercase as well. Now if you don't have an images folder you can easily create a new folder if by right clicking choosing new folder and then dragging your files into that folder. Now you'll see it has a number of different files in here and some of those files have uppercase letters which is not really preferable but I'm not going to change anything for right now but you do want to be aware of things like this. The sunrise at high falls, probably not a good idea. So I'm going to change that to underscore high falls. And you'll see that it is linked to a page, so it'll fix that code for us. But ones that have special codes like that could kind of cause problems. So the very first thing that you want to do is make sure that you audit your website and that every page is linking together and all of the files are in lowercase names and that you've made um, you know, your single CSS file and that your code is pretty clean. So make sure you do that first. Then when we go into the pages, we're going to start to um, change the structure in our existing XHTML. And I'll use the index page as my example page. Um, we're going to start to change all of the code here for divisions. Now, if I go to the code, you'll see that we have all this stuff like tables, um, and we have nav, let's see, this says td class equals navbar. Um, and then we have our content that starts here. And we're actually going to be changing all of that out for a new division-based structure. So let's begin to do that in the next tutorial.